Good morning everyone. Today I am going to discuss a grammar chapter with you. So students, please open your grammar book, page number 102. Students, today I am going to discuss a very interesting chapter with you, subject, verb and agreement. So please open your book, lesson number 28, page number 102. Now read these sentences. I is playing cricket. We am playing in the playground. He are going to London. Is there anything wrong in these sentences? Yes. The verb used in these sentences is incorrect. The sentences should be I am playing cricket. With I, we always use am in present tense. We are playing in the playground. Here we is plural. So we will take a plural verb. Are. He is going to London. Here he is singular. So we have taken a singular verb. Is. We see that when the subject of a sentence changes, the verb to changes. This is called subject verb agreement. First of all, subject and verb must agree with one another in number, whether in singular or in plural. Number first, the sub first of all understand what is subject. A subject is who or what the sentence is about. Next one, a verb. A verb tells what the subject is doing. Now let's discuss some rules of subject, verb and agreement. Look at the first one. Singular subjects take singular verb. Here look at the example. My sister is an accountant. We are talking about my sister. My sister is a subject and it is a singular subject. So it will take singular verb is. Next one. Julia was playing in the garden. Here we are talking about Julia. Julia is a subject here. It is a singular subject. So we will take a singular verb. Was. Next one. My dog barks at the strangers. Here we are talking about my dog. My dog is a subject. It is a singular subject. It will take a singular verb. Barks. And with singular verb here we have added S. Next rule is, plural subjects take plural verb. Now look at the example, the children were enjoying ice cream. Here we are talking about children. More children are there, means it is a plural subject. So it will take plural verb, were. Next one, the players have entered the stadium. Here we are talking about the players. The players plural, so we have taken plural verb, have. My brothers are dentists. Here I am talking about my brothers. My brothers plural. So we have taken plural verb. Are. These cars go fast. Here we are talking about these cars. These cars subject. Plural subject. So it will take plural verb. Go. Let's discuss the golden rule of subject verb and agreement. When a sentence is about one person or thing, we people will add S to the verb. Look at the example. Rita drops the pencil. Here we are talking about Rita. Rita is a subject. It is a singular subject. So it will take a singular verb drops. And with drops we have added S. Next one. The dog jumps on the table. Here we are talking about the dog. So the dog is a subject. It is a singular subject. So it will take a singular verb. Jumps. And students in singular verb we people generally add S and ES. So that's why here we have added S with jumps. Next one. When a sentence is about more than one person or thing. Do not add S. In that case case we will not add is. Number one, Rohan and Mohan play outside. Here we are talking about Rohan and Mohan. Two singular nouns are there. 
and with two singular nouns we always add plural form of the verb so here play is a plural form of the verb we will not add s with play next one the dogs jump on the table here we are talking about the dogs the dogs is a subject here we are talking about plural the dogs are plural so with plural form of the subject we always take plural form of the verb that's why we have not added s with the jump look at the picture singular subject take singular verb the bird sings here we are talking about the bird so bird is singular so it will take a singular verb sings that's why we have added s here next one a plural subject take takes a plural verb here we are talking about the birds two birds are there that sings so that's why two with two birds we, people will not write s with sing it remains plural let's discuss the chart i have written two columns singular and plural here i have taken first person second person and third person pronouns in case of pronouns like i is a first person pronoun you is a second person pronoun he she it is a third person pronoun i is a singular pronoun but we always treat i as a plural pronoun so that's why with i we have added plural verb walk next one in case of you you is also a singular pronoun but we treat here you as a plural pronoun so that's why we have added plural verb walk with the with you in case of he she it he she it is a singular pronoun with he she it we always take singular form of the verb and we will add s with the verb like it walks jo walks jo singular so that's why we have added s with walks next one the student walks here we are talking about the student the student is singular so we have taken a singular verb walks and we have added s now in case of plural we people will not add s with the plural verbs now look at the first one we we are talking about we we is a plural subject so we have written we walk next one you walk here we are talking about you you is a plural so we will write walk next one they walk they plural so it will remain walk only jo and alice walk here we are talking about jo and alice two persons are there so we will write only walk next one the students walk here more students are there that's why we have taken a plural form of the verb walk next one when two or more singular nouns joined by and it takes a plural verb look at the sentences sudha and madhu are sisters here we are talking about sudha and madhu two singular nouns joined by and so it will take plural verb r next one mohan sohan and rakesh go to the same club here we are talking about mohan sohan and rakesh these are three singular nouns joined by and so it will take a plural verb go next one mary and nisha have won the quiz here we are talking about mary and nisha both are singular nouns joined by and so it will take plural verb have next one when the subject consists of two nouns joined with with or as well as the verbs agree with the first subject now look at the example the king with his attendants are was welcomed here we are talking about the king and his attendants means we are talking about two subjects number one the king and the second one his attendants 
but it is joined with with so whenever with is there we will check the first subject first subject the king the king was singular so we will check a singular verb was next one all the players with the captain are present here we are talking about two subjects all the players and the captain so it is joined with with so we will check the first subject first subject all the players are plural so we will check the plural verb are next one they as well as i are going to attend the meeting here we are talking about they first subject i second subject but as well as is there so we will check the first subject they plural so we have taken plural verb are next one rohan as well as mohan has passed here we are talking about two subjects number 1 rohan and number 2 is mohan as well as is there so we will check the first subject first subject rohan singular so we have taken singular verb has next one a collective noun always takes a singular verb here we are talking about collective nouns collective nouns means group of person and things look at the example the tulips are pretty here we are talking about more tulips more than one so that's why we have taken plural verb are next one the bouquet of tulips is pretty here we are talking about bouquet of tulip it is a collective noun so collective noun always take a singular verb so here we have taken is next one the keys are missing here we are talking about more keys so we have taken a plural verb are next one the bunch of keys is missing here we are talking about a bunch of keys that means it is a collective noun so that's why we have taken singular verb is next one the players have decided to bat first here we are talking about more players so we have taken plural verb have next one the teams of players has decided to bat first here we are talking about a team of players team of players collective noun so we have taken singular verb has next one the students are going on a field here we are talking about more students so we have taken a plural verb are next one the class is going on a trip here we are talking about a particular class means a collective noun so we have taken a singular verb is now let's have a quick review what we have learned in this video number 1 the verb must agree with the subjects and number whether in singular and in plural for example this car goes fast next one singular subjects take singular verbs here we are talking about singular subject so example her mother is a teacher next one plural subjects take plural verbs like cows are grazing in the field next one when two or more singular nouns joined by an it takes a plural verb for example rohan and mohan were playing in the garden next one when the subject consists of two nouns joined with with or as well as the verbs agree with the first subject look at the example jack as well as his friends was invited to the party next one a collective noun always takes a singular verb for example the crew was large today i have discussed four basic rules of subject verb and agreement in my next video i will discuss some other rules of subject verb and agreement 
I hope you like the video. Now you all have to follow your SNAP homework schedule and do the related exercises by your own. Thank you everyone.